Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, hopefully exciting tutorial about how to make uh, your hydrogen drum machine able to play samples. So this is a built-in feature on on the hydrogen drum machine but um, we're just going to go through um, how to do it. So we're assuming that you have in already ready installation of the hydrogen drum machine but if you haven't then uh, just go over to hydrogen um, hydrogenmusic.org and uh, download it grab yourself a download so let's uh, see how it looks to download we have here, um, you know, for Windows, it's for uh, Mac OS, and it's also for Linux. If you have uh, Ubuntu, you will find it in the, um, in the yeah, here it's, uh, you, you can download it, you know, using the terminal, but uh, just go to the software center and it's um, already in there, so that'll maybe save you a little bit of a hassle and if you're on the fence about Linux if you have an old computer laying around just try uh, try Ubuntu and um, install the um, Ubuntu Studio package it'll also be in there and uh, you got a lot of stuff to puzzle around with and have fun making your music and whatever you're doing if it's a podcast or whatever it is so let's um, assume you're getting the ins installation up and running let's um, take a look at the hydrogen drum machine I made a simple beat here um, actually Actually, maybe I should just do it from scratch. That way I'll also help, you know, new users who haven't even tried this drum machine yet. So, um, what you do to get started, right? You uh, click new project. So I'm not even gonna save it, so. Uh, discard. So, you'll start off with one pattern right here and you'll be in pattern mode as you can see up here you, you have the option to change to song mode and uh, let's just try and make one pattern we're just gonna make this simple you can make this as complicated as you want so we're going with a built-in uh, drum kit here and just punching in one just starting and it will uh, loop because this one's marked so we're just looping it so what we're gonna do is to add another one so what you can do just duplicate this one and you got a new one right there and it'll already have that kick so let's just put that on the fourth and then we go like this and um, we'll change to song mode so now this one will be slightly different you can add a little one right there so we go back to so we go back to pattern one, which is the three first here, and we will add a snare. So we'll add it right there. Right, and we'll do the same on this one. And we'll add it. No, that was a kick. No, that was a stick. Let's go with a snare. with that so 
so we have our basic um, little pattern of four looping so let's go to the magic um, also here you can see the layers right and obviously this is different velocities so the higher the number the harder the velocity is for the touch response if you have some way to input this for the keyboard but you can also do the velocity down here right so if I want to lower this one so on this one, lower, and that will lower the velocity. So that would actually swap out the uh, sample if you have multiple. So let's try to make our own, right? And you do that by going to instruments, add instrument. It'll appear down here on the bottom of your of your list of uh, instruments or drums, actually. So, but it will not make any sound. Let's try to make a new pattern here. We'll punch it in right there. We'll punch it in right there. And you'll have it, it when it loops, uh, it's not gonna make any sound, right? So, to make it make sound, you have to go here to layers. And we wanna add something in this first square here. So, load layer and uh, you just browse to where you have your wave file of the sample you want to use um, and I want to um, I think I just want to use some sort of sound effect so let's just go with real and let's find a tiny one with birds in it or something this is a hand mouse let's try this one let's move, move. Bell. All right. So there we go. Lowering it. So here we have our little pattern with a sound effect. So that's actually all you need to know. But let's just um, look at one more trick here. So just for this uh, tutorial, we're just taking those, marking them. You just use the mouse, hold mark let go and then control c is uh, copy so control v is paste so let's move this church bell over there and then let's do a string here so we'll punch it in here keep in mind we're in song mode now and we have it looped so this is off loop with the looping, this is on with the looping. 
So let's add one. Let's actually see if we can rename this one to church bell, right? Church bell. Okay, so let's. Oh, spell that wrong. Not that I'm embarrassed, but there we go. So let's go add another one. And uh, let's make this a string or a pad. So let's rename it to a pad. And let's go and find ourselves a pad. Layers, load, layer. This one must be marked. So let's go and look for a pad. I kind of love bird noises, but let's do the pad first and add a bird afterwards. So let's go to synths, pads. Like these are my collection of web files. There are websites out there, just do a um, DuckDuckGo search or uh, something like that and search for um, sound effects, dot wave, stuff like that. Um, and you'll find uh, lots of places who's got archives that are free and you know royalty free to use and stuff like that so let's just try this breathy thing oh, that's it's probably breaking your ears as well should go with a softer one let's go with um yeah, this could actually be really loud. Let me see if I can just turn down the volume on that a little bit. Let's try. Um, let's try uh, this one maybe. That's better. So, I'm sorry if the volume is too loud. Just turn it down on your end because uh, I'm a little bit uh, noob here when it comes to the um, OBS studio that I'm using so let's make um, that was our pad right there let's punch it in let's lower the velocity then so it won't be so loud okay let's try and play it And just for a heck of it, I'm gonna teach you one more thing. So let's just do that same thing again. Add instrument, and we'll just call this pad two, okay? Um, there we go. So we're, we are making, um, why is it marked on pad two? Oh. There we go. You have to sometimes scroll this one down to get them to line up. Weird. Okay, so let's um, go here and make another one there. And then we can repeat that one there and repeat that one there. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the same. Let's check the name of this one. It's uh, Yamaha and one x something and okay so we we'll go to load layer Yamaha and one x something we'll just do one more yeah let's go so Bear with me if the sound is too loud. Um, so now we got two of them, right? This one. Okay, so they're not the, they're not exactly the same, but it, it doesn't matter. The point is that you can go to general, and here you got a lot of controls for your sample, right? So you take the pitch. down to 
and we have to punch that one in as well. And lower it. Okay. How will it? So what we did, we reduced the pitch, right? With uh, two, minus two keys. So let's hear it now. So you kind of get the picture, right? You can make them notes. So you have one, one drum for what each note. So if I um, would change it now, this one. Would change it to, um, back to layers, to the exact one, if I remember the name. So, just for the freaking fun of it, let's add some bird noises. Change the name. Birds singing. So, we make a new pattern, punch it in, and we uh, go to our layers mark this layers load layer I go to my sound effects nature real and I find the bird And the magic begins as soon as I find my bird, but it doesn't look like I find any birds there, maybe. It's really awfully long. Just go there. So we already punched it in. So it should start right here. As soon as it loops, it should start. So you hear the birds punched in. They're much too loud, so let's go to our mixer and we should have a bird singing here. Let's lower these, both the pads. Up the church bells. And we got ourselves a little thing going, right? You want to be a musician? <laughs> Get hydrogen, learn how to use sound effects. You'll be a musician in no time. So thanks for watching. 